<laughs> hey everyone! So, wanted to give you a more in-depth tour. You probably have seen the quick tour that Katie gave us. Thanks a bunch, Katie. But I wanted to give you a little bit more in-depth of the tour. We'll still go fairly quick so it's not terribly dry, but let's go ahead and start up here. So, one theme that you're going to see is making the best use of the space that we have. And so, up here in the front two seats, the front one we have a laundry basket, and then the other one we have a couple blankets. We do use that every once in a while for devos and other things like that, and extra storage if we need it. In between we have a trash can and the guitar behind there. So we're using all of that space, and then up above our, our uh, kind of the bunk here, is sometimes used, well, most often it's used as an extra place to sleep, but since we are living here, we're using all of it mainly for storage. And so we have a lot of stuff back in there, and we have curtains that are down right now that we're gonna be redoing, but um, those will cover everything up and they'll go right behind the TV here so that it can just look a little bit nicer when we have people over. So we have the TV and then um, our laundry solution which we will give you a video on that later. Katie's summer clothes, camping stuff, um, and, and things like that. So kind of a miscellaneous, not used so much because it's harder to get to that stuff. Moving over to this side, this is something kind of neat about RVs is they make cool cool ways to store stuff a lot easier and so underneath here we have a lot of a lot of stuff so we have a couple tubs that kind of slide out like that and that has some blankets in it and then we have some miscellaneous tools that are more need a more readily available and then we have some art and craft supplies down there as well and then coming up above here I feel pretty blessed to be able to have enough space for this entire compartment to be books. So that's all just books up there which is really pretty nice. I feel like space wise we were able to do pretty well. Um, moving over here we have coffee and some to go mugs in this box up here. We have some different teas and uh, hot chocolate different things like that so that's pretty much all fun drinks and stuff like that. Moving over here we have kind of an office um, compartment. We have a bunch of books and some different Bibles and things for Devos and then we have a couple other miscellaneous places. It seems like we had a couple places that landed being miscellaneous. And lastly another kind of big one that shows that we have enough space for our necessities is we have games up here and that is all dedicated to games which is really really nice. Another thing that I was talking about earlier with the RVs having some good space is this right here. So underneath it's hollowed out to where we have these tubs that actually fit perfectly. So this one's Katie's shoes and I have some across the other side. And then we have some paper goods for the kitchen over there. And then on this side we have a little bit more office stuff and then actually haircutting supplies over there as well. And then on the kitchen we'll jump over here a little bit right underneath the sink here and to talk about the kitchen real quick I know that it's not big but for an RV that right there and this over here and this add-on for the sink really does make for a decent sized counter space I know you're probably laughing but for for anyone who owns an RV it is a decent amount of counter space. Right underneath the sink, we have mainly cleaning supplies. Up here is all the essentials. It's really nice that this came in here, so that's just for our knives really easily stored right there. Mugs, cups, bowls, plates. And then we have our pantry right here, and these two below are our pantry as well. And then we have all the other goodies in our drawers and pots and pans right there. So that kind of completes the kitchen. In addition to kind of more miscellaneous up here, we have some of the bigger items, crock pot and um, blender, full size blender fit back there. We have some more tubs here with towels and spices and utensils. And then another 
kind of miscellaneous office drawer right there. Moving to the back here, this actually was really nice. We kind of thought that that might be in the way, but it really actually has not been that bad. We're kind of used to it being small, so taking out that much more room isn't, isn't that bad. It's nice to have some coats and stuff easily to grab quick. So on this side, this has all of our hanging stuff that we brought, and we brought pretty much, we were smart about what we brought, and we downsized quite a bit, but we we took more than we thought we'd be able to bring in it all fit in their hanging stuff, so that was pretty nice. Um, we have tubs up there that we folded all of our clothes. It just stores better space-wise, and so there's clothes up there, and then Katie has these three drawers here, and then I have the three drawers down there that are about this big, and they hold about two socks a piece, so they are pretty useless, but they're better than nothing. And then right here is our computer, which is, this is where I do editing and different things, and so we have the, the computer here, and a desk that Sam and I kind of retrofitted to this, this space, and then some video equipment up top on that shelf. And lastly, you saw the shower coming in probably. Lastly, we have the bathroom here. And it is not ginormous, but again, for an RV, it's really not terribly poorly sized. And so, these cabinets maybe look bigger than they are, but they are, I think this is a good comparison. They're only that deep, so that's really not very, very deep. You know, it's just, a normal cabinet's a lot deeper and so you have a lot more space. But that medicine, I guess, is kind of Katie and I's, but the rest of everything that you see up in there is Katie's. This is mine right here. Everything else is Katie. Plus, she has this drawer. How much stuff could a woman have? And finishing her out, not her out, the whole RV in general. Cleaning supplies down there. So that's our RV. I won't finish up in the bathroom. That's weird. So, to finish out, I think that this space has really come along quite nicely, especially with all the differences that we've made. And it's it's definitely a different kind of life, but I think it's really something that we can adapt to fairly easily, and it's been good thus far to have this time here in, um, in Inman before we go out to Washington. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that tour a little more in depth. If you have questions, comments, concerns, let us know. I'd appreciate hearing from you. Thanks a bunch. See ya.